Hello everyone, welcome back to another March release Lego building video. It is so nice to have you back. If you're new, hello, welcome. I am so excited about my build today. This was my personal most anticipated set of March. It's nothing crazy, but I just think it's really cute. It's so cute too much. It's really... Cool. <laughs> oh, Today I'm building the sorting hat. I'm hoping that I can sit it on my head, otherwise it'll be really sad. I'm very excited. Look at him. <laughs> what a hat. What a crazy little hat. <laughs> now, my outfit today. <laughs> I'm not dressed as the sorting hat. Do not panic. That's boring. That's silly. I say that as if what I am going to dress as is not literally the silliest to think that I could possibly dress as when it comes to this set. I'm going to put my outfit on. Let me tell you, this is definitely not something that I will be able to wear when I'm building. I'm the sorting hat stool. I'm the most important part of the sorting ceremony. What would they do if there was no stool? Nobody knows. <laughs> So this is my partner Tristan's stool and when I asked him <laughs> when I asked him if I could borrow it, he assumed, rightfully so, that I was going to dress as a Hogwarts student and sit on the stool. <laughs> That's a great idea. When I told him that this was the reality, I saw a bit of love leave his soul. I just thought, I've already dressed as a Hogwarts student. That's boring. You guys want something fresh and interesting. What do you want? You want me with a stool strapped to myself. Ta-da! And yes, I know this is a different brown. Just pretend I'm the same brown as the stool. We are one. I'm one with the stool. The stool is one with me. You're welcome. I did this for you. This is so hard to move. Okay, I have to take this off. I can't even reach my camera. <laughs> uh. Now, it is not lost on me that I said I'm dressed as a stool. And I'm also all in brown. Okay? I don't want to hear it. All right? No. I've had enough out of all of you. Okay? No jokes. No, no jokes. And of course, the stool will, <laughs> sorry, sounds like I'm referring to myself. The stool will return at the end so we can see the whole effect of the sorting hat on the stool. So stick around for that. I know, it's gonna be riveting. You're excited. Enough faffing around. I believe it's time to open up this bad boy, see how many bags, pray that those aren't stickers. Please don't be stickers. They're printed bricks, right? <laughs> oh, that's a stick. stick. All right, let me open it up. All right, guys, we have seven bags. Here is the instruction. Wait, do I look like the sorting hat? <laughs> and better than I thought, there's actually only two stickers. Heck yes. I've got Philosopher's Stone ready on my screen. I will be back with the cutest little talking hat Lego set. I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Sorting hat is all done. It's looking so cute, guys. Look at him. They absolutely nailed the face shape. That looks so cool. He looks so grumpy and his little top knobbly bit. Love it. This is how it tells you to display it with Gryffindor at the front, obviously. It's the main house in the movies. I get it, but not in this household okay wow okay you ready for them for the main event How 
crazy is that? It's going to sound brickier. It's so wonderful because I would have accepted a sorting hat Lego without a sound brick. Obviously, I didn't know they were a thing that existed. But the fact that they were like, if we make this, make it with a sound brick is just like full respect. It really makes the set. I love it. I'm slightly disappointed by the voice. Ravenclaw! <laughs> Stop. You belong in slithery. It's just like a bit weird. <laughs> Maybe like the Sorting Hat's brother or cousin or something, but if you don't think about it too much and you're not a psychopath, then it won't bother you. Let me show you a better look of him. Really, I'm just so impressed with this face shape. And I love that when you push down, you can push it down gently and it does just move the eyes and the mouth. As I said, I didn't really look into this very much, so I didn't know that they moved. I just thought it was the sound break, so this is very cool to me that his eyebrows moved. I think it didn't need stickers. I don't know, I just don't really think they do much for it. Maybe more of these printed bricks, but in the same brown as the rest of the hat, I think maybe would have looked better. But that's like a very minor detail. So obviously the sound brick comes with batteries. You can pull this bit down at the back, which means that you can get to the sound brick and replace the batteries when it runs out, which I think is excellent. Really easy access and very well thought out. It does make me laugh, these two little spindly majugis at the back. In the movie, it's like the really long, <laughs> like flowing brown bits. I think that possibly could have been done better, if that's what that is, because this just kind of makes me laugh a little bit. It's not the same brown, I think looks a bit weird. So yeah, I think that could have been done better, but again, small detail and it will be at the back, so it's not a very big deal. I like the stand. I think maybe it should have been a little bit taller. If you place him a bit lower than eye height, you're not going to see the little house crest which isn't necessarily a big deal again, but I think if it was a little bit taller, it would have been better for that purpose. I love that the house crests are on printed bricks. Thank you, Lego. It would have been so annoying if they had it been put on a wonky by um, said sticker putter on it. And I do that often, so I'm really glad that these are printed. Inside his head, you put a tiny sort of Gryffindor, obviously, because we see that pulled out of the hat in Chamber of Secrets and also Deadly Hallows. You also put a goblet in there, and that's inside his head. I don't know how to get to it, though. <laughs> like my last video, the Millennium Falcon, there's stuff in there that I don't know how to show you. I'm gonna have to show the instructions again. We live and we learn. Or if you're me, you just live. See, you got a sort of Gryffindor and a goblet and two little colourful bricks. I don't know what they're doing in there either. That is inside, which I think is a really cute detail. I love that the sort of different doors in there. I'm confused by the size because like I like it and I dislike it at the same time. I think the feeling I have is it's not too small and I'm really pleased about that. But in my heart of hearts, I think it could have been bigger. I think that's how I'm feeling about it. You get a mini fig. You get Tiny Harry wearing a tiny sorting hat. Are you joking? Look at his little face. Look, he's, he's taking it so seriously. That's him going, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. And he's like, not Slytherin, eh? That's what's happening right now on this mini feed. And then if you want to turn his face around, he is happy on this side. And he's like, better be Gryffindor. And Harry's like, oh my God, I did it. You know, I love this mini fig. I I think his face looks so freaking cute. And I think he looks adorable in the hat. And I think, honestly, I'm just gonna stand him here underneath because I think that's really cute. <laughs> I think it's so cute, look at him. I loved building it. As the excellent reviewer that I am, I can't tell you why. <laughs> I just liked building it. It was quick. It took me hour and 10 minutes. Really nice, quick build. There was some technical bits. There was, you know, brick laying. Classic brick on brick action, as we like to call it. It was just a fun build. It was interesting. It was good. It was quick. And obviously, having force with stone on doesn't hurt. It makes it much more fun. I got very excited when I got to the sorting and I was like... <laughs> As you! <laughs> I think they did a great job designing it. It's got a freaking sound brick in it. Are you serious? <laughs> so cool. I loved it. Recommend. And no, I cannot put it on my head. I thought it would have like a nice little gap so I could just sit it there comfortably. It does not. It has something that would make it quite uncomfortable to do that. But we'll test that out in a second because first, what you've all been waiting for, it's me as the stool again just to make this come to life. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> I hate myself. What you've all been waiting for. This is what it feels like to be pregnant. Are you ready to be amazed? Whoa! Has it come to life for you? Are you like, wow, now I'll buy that set? Will it look better on the stand, maybe? Ta-da! Wow! Just like the movies! <laughs> all right, get off. Everyone 
to get up. Okay, outfit change. You ready? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Why do you watch my videos? Okay, apparently the novelty bit that I thought was annoying for me to wear, it also <laughs> makes the sound break work. So you can actually sort yourself with it on your head. That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> me just sassing them and they've actually done something way better than I could ever dream of. What? Okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Bit harsh. Ah, uh, yes. Gryffindor. No. Ravenclaw. Ah, yeah. And the Ravenclaw table goes wild. Oh my god. Okay, see? <laughs> that. It pushes in and it makes... Okay. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Lego. I'm a terrible person and also slightly an idiot. Alright guys, that is all from me for this week. Thank you for watching another one of my stupid, stupid videos. <laughs> In my stupid outfit. I love you. I appreciate you. I respect you. I think you're really cute. Next week, which I'm very excited about personally, I'm going to be building one of the Animal Crossing sets. I'm very excited. So I hope you drop back in if you're interested in that. Even if you're not interested, just come anyway, please. Thank you so much. Have a great week, guys. Hope you're well, hope you're happy, and hopefully I'll see you really soon.